I'm very curious because you have worked with some of the legends of our time, Carlos Santana, Madonna, Prince, beautiful people, human beings, I'm sure many, many others, right? So curious might want to know, are they more special than the rest of us? Are they, you know, high vibration aliens as the media would like to portray that they are, or are they just as human as we are, but with a few degrees of tweaks and Anyways, I'm just curious if you can share a little bit more about the, what you learn from being with these legendary artists. Okay. Amazing question. First of all, I do believe that each of us have a divinity and have an area where we can be the, our own superstars in our own way. Let me start that way. I think everybody listening to this podcast and everybody that we encounter in life, if they can find what their superpower is, their talent, and by the way, it can be anything. It could be a person who makes baskets, beautiful, incredible baskets. They have ability to make baskets. It could be a farmer who has a, an innate sense for the timing to plant seeds and make harvest happen. It can be a, a, a cook, right? Who understands the alchemy of food, right? I believe there's a Carlos Santana or a Madonna or a Lady Gaga or whoever you admire, if you admire any of those musicians, in all of it. There's a Mozart that lives inside all of us, okay? So I wanna start off by saying that. Now, in the case of people like a Carlos Santana, Carlos is like, you, you called me an alien at the top of this broadcast. <laughs> I've never been called an alien before, but if we, if we consider that a possibility. A high vibration alien. A high vibration a alien. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 hey, I'm not going to argue with that. Maybe, maybe I didn't come from this planet. I don't know. But yeah. if, there, if there are high vibration aliens as a true phenomena, Carlos could probably be the king of a certain mm -hmm. sector of the galaxy. In mm -hmm. other words, he is exceptional. A lot of it is, of course he's human, and of course he's got all kinds of issues like everyone else does. That's, that comes with the package of being a human being, all of us do. But he does hear and feel the energy of the present moment in a, in a very unique way. And he's able to synthesize things very quickly and he's able to bring them to his fingers and he's able to hit that guitar in a way that has given him a stunning, almost unprecedented career as a guitar player that no other guitar player can touch. He's, 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 there's very few people that can do what he's done and unify Africa, South America, jazz, pop, European rhythms, Asia. He can mix all these things into music and not everyone can do that. So they do have special access to the feel and the expression that not everyone, you can't get, you, I don't think you can go to school and learn that. I think certain people are, there's a combination as, as you know, of nature and nurture. Certain talents we can nurture. You can go to a dojo and learn all the moves and you can emerge from the dojo as a certain level of mastery. But there's some, some people that decide to become warriors that are gifted and they, and they just instantly learn things quickly and yeah. they, they develop their own style of fighting and protecting, right? They, they become their own unique war. Bruce Lee is, 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 is probably one of the most famous of people that didn't just do martial arts. He took it to another level. Santana's like a Bruce Lee of the guitar, right? It's unique. 